Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time joining, I am Jennifer, a full-time reseller. I sell mainly on eBay and I cross list to other platforms. Today's video is going to be all about sourcing for your eBay business. I know starting out, a lot of resellers struggle with where do you buy your inventory? Where do you go to find your inventory? And I wanted to focus on what my route is and how I figure out my route for garage sales and estate sales for the coming week. People ask again, how do I find out where the garage sales are? Where do I go to find out where my estate sales are? And there are multiple websites and apps out there to help us navigate that. So basically, in a nutshell, I start planning my week on Tuesdays. Reason is Tuesday is because that's when I start getting emails from my estate com uh, local church estates. Um, I also, our newspaper starts updating where the local sales are gonna be. Uh, so. I always start out by looking on my local newspaper. A lot of places you have to pay to be in the newspaper. I'm sure some places have free advertising. Mine, you have to pay for it. And it was steep. I remember calling one time and I'm like, um, no thanks, I'll just put it on Craigslist and Facebook and call it a day um, and put out really good signs because those signs are really what we want to follow. Okay, so locally, I live in the Green Valley, Sarita area, Southern Arizona, and I completely understand that I am spoiled. <laughs> we get yard sales year round. I live in probably one of the top five places for a reselling business. And I completely do not take that for granted. And I absolutely love where I live because I get to do what I love to do. And it's abundant um, between thrift stores and yard sales every single weekend. Um, in my local newspaper here, they actually have... I usually do this on my phone, so I'm trying to find it on here. It's a little different. Okay, classifieds. And then I will be able to go to auctions, estate sales. So here we go. This weekend, I've got four sales already listed in the newspaper. Um, I'll be able to kind of refresh. Usually by Wednesday, I'll refresh and make sure they didn't add any more late callers to the paper. But generally speaking, we've got three sales here. So what I'll start doing is I have Google Maps just right on my phone and you are able to save these addresses into your Google Maps. Um, so into a, a tab that I just labeled garage sales, each week I delete all of the houses and then reload it. So right now I currently have five addresses saved in my garage sales tab. So it's gonna show all the addresses and then I was copying them from that newspaper. Okay, so we've got this address, this Tumacockery outpost. I'm not going to save that. That one is a common, they're an antique dealer. I think they have this sale every single week. So I ignore that one. Um, but the next two, I'm going to copy it down. And then the beautiful thing in Google Maps is you can put notes. So in here, I show uh, Thursday, 730. It's a three family sale. I know that because on here it said it was a three family sale. <laughs> I also want to note what time they start um, and save that in here as well. So I've got this one is Thursday, three family sale. I've got a Friday, 8 a.m. I've got a Thursday. I thought I updated the time. Um, I believe they said that one was 7 a.m. And then I've got another one Friday at 8 a.m. I do like to put uh, who's running the sale. And that's important because as you do this, you will start to learn who has better sales. Um, so in here, GHG, they start early, so I can be there early. And then United Methodist, this church in particular is kind of a high price church. So if I had to choose between getting in line at GHG versus getting in line at United Methodist, I'm going to go to GHG first. Uh, and then I think there's actually another sale coming up. Also, always get on their email list. Always, always. When you're going to these sales, we have Sorry, I'm kind of bouncing around here. We have our church-run estate sales, and then we have the church church sales. They're separate. Uh, I don't know if that's just a, a Tucson thing or if this is everywhere, but the church-run estate sales are at residents where people have most likely passed away or they're downsizing and going to assisted living. Uh, those are going to be just the residents and just the belongings that were in their home, priced at the prices that the church and all their volunteers put it at. Then you've got the church run big sales. Those are going to be like the patio sales, the, the um, 
I don't know what else they call them, but they're the big church sales at the church grounds. And those are going to be items usually that were donated. Um, how else they get their inventory? I don't know, but it's going to be a wide range, a much larger sale of a lot more variety of items. So we've got both sides. And right now the big ones are these church run estate sales. So that's where that United Methodist, they are one that all the proceeds of this sale will go to that church. Uh, and then there's another one I need to add that was just emailed to me. So when you start going to these sales, make sure if they have an email sign up, even the big sales have this too. The big sales also will have an email sign up. Get on their email list so that they notify you of all of their sales. Um, so I have another church run estate sale need to be added to that list. But let's go back to how I am finding these sales. So that first chunk is from the local newspaper. Then I check Craigslist. So inside Craigslist, I'll be able to go, I'm under Tucson, right? Yeah, Tucson, and then um, bit, 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 estate, garage sales, where was that under? Normally I do this on my phone. I don't usually do this on my computer. I do it on my phone while I'm sitting in my daughter's dance class, and I can literally copy and paste all the addresses over to the Google Maps map. Um, much easier for me. I'm not a fan of doing this on the computer. Okay, so. We are down here in the Green Valley area. I've got two sales coming up. We've got this one here, huge sale and bake sale on 223. Our community has come together. They actually advertised this sale last week and it was a dud. So I don't know if maybe they're moving it or what, but we will go ahead and copy this address. Yep and paste it into my Google Maps. And then we are going to save it. So this is where you pin it to your saved list. So I'm gonna add it to my garage sales list. And then I'm able to add, is it a label? Again, I usually do this from my phone. Okay, so we are going to say community. And when was this one? on the 20 Friday the 23rd um, community sale question mark Friday 7 30 enter all right I think that was my note okay so I put a question mark because like I said last week I went over there and there was nothing happening so they must have moved it and didn't update their list okay sorry bouncing around okay so that one is saved now we will go back. I saw another dot down here. This is that United Methodist sale. So I've already saved this one, but I can go through and look at all the pictures of what to expect. Uh, but I know I'm probably not going to be first in line for that because there's other sales that I put above that Methodist sale. Um, the other place that has really good listings and the place you want to go to start building up this list so again, I'm starting my list on Tuesday and I'm just growing it, growing it so that by Thursday when these sales all start, I can pull it up as a full map and I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so estatesales.org and estatesales.net. They both have an app, uh, but I'm gonna show you the desktop version because that's where I'm at right now. Um, and I'll see here, we actually have three of this same company, Grayson's. Um, there's gonna be two in one community, Rancho Sarita, and then there's another one over on Continental and I-19, so more in the Green Valley area. Um, they are both two-day sales, Friday and Saturday. Um, Grayson's, as well as other big sales, this is going to be probably more of the sales in the bigger cities, they have a staff. And when I mean they have a staff, there's like 20 plus people that work for these companies. Um, therefore, they've got the capacity to look stuff up unfortunately. So a lot of times, um, and I'm kind of speaking generally, but this is from my experience, the big companies are always going to be priced higher than the smaller companies. The big companies have to pay for those employees. Seems like a no-brainer, right? Where the church is and the smaller companies are paying for one or two people, or in the church's case, all the profits go back to the, the church. So when you're comparing it, it's kind of a no-brainer why they're going to be more expensive, um, but they're still fun to go to. So if I did not, this is kind of how my brain works. If I did not have other sales to go to, other church sales and other local advertised sales, then I would go ahead and make them my first stop. These Grayson sales, pick one, whichever. Um, but I've got better sales. I've got much better low hanging fruit that I know have better prices. They are gonna be my first run. 
So when I'm mapping it out, I want to make sure I'm hitting those ones first. This case, you're hearing my thoughts live, I'm actually not going to hit them until Saturday. I'm going to wait till second day. Friday is bins day, right? So we don't want to waste our time at sales that I know are going to be overpriced. I know there's going to be an epic line. I cannot waste precious time at sales that are overpriced when I know my, my bins return store is waiting for me. They will always, always have the better items for my price range than these estate sales. So again, a lot of this comes with experience. You realize where you want to spend your time, where it's worth it versus how much better items you're going to find for your time. Okay, I, I know I go all over the place. That's just how my brain works. But when I'm mapping it out, I'm also mentally noting who is worth my time. And at this particular company, they're a great company. They have, I mean, they they pick their houses based on profit. Um, so they only go, this particular company only goes after ha over houses that are worth over X dollar amount. If they're, they don't think they're going to get X dollar amount, they don't even have their sale. Um, so we know these are going to be good houses. We know they're going to have high end quality stuff. I've actually had some good stuff from them, but knowing their business model compared to my business model, we don't always mesh. So they'll do half price on the second day. I'm not even going to waste my time on Friday. I will go to all three of these on Saturday, see what's left. Um, there was one sale in particular, this one down here. I'll just show you because I got a giggle out of it. Uh, all of this old, these old cookie jars. These were fun. And I'm sure there's some big, big money in this garage. Um, I mean, just off the top of my head, there was a couple of them that were worth well over a hundred dollars. I'm sure these Raggedy Ann's were going to be pretty good. Um, there was one, oh gosh, those Marvin the Martian. That's probably a good one. I didn't look any of these up, but, um, the race car driver, what is his name? I can't think of it right now. Uh, these Aunt Jemima ones. There's definitely some classics in here. You've got the whole Disney wall. You've got Hamburglar, uh, the whole McDonald's gang up here. I see all the Looney Tunes, like there is some epic money in this garage, but they're going to have things really priced pretty high. Uh, Speed Speed Racer, that was him. Uh, Spock and all the Star Wars and oh my gosh, this is one heck of a collection. So yeah, I drooled at the pictures, but honestly, I know they're going to be over, over how much I want to spend on them. Like they'll price it at like 30, 40 bucks if it's worth 60 or 70. So for a collector, it'd be great. But for a reseller, not so much. I'll go in on Saturday and see what's left. Okay, so we talked about estatesales.org. Um, and usually people, when they're advertising on .org, they're also on the .net. Um, but let's take a look. All right, so we're going to see how much they compare. Okay, so yeah, we've got the Grayson's, and then we've got this other one down here. This particular sale, she's kind of all over. There's times that she'll miss some stuff, and there's times that things are way overpriced. Um, she definitely overprices her furniture. Um, the furniture and the big pieces, the credenzas, the armoires, the patio sets, those are all overpriced. So if you're in the market for those, you know, don't go to her sales. Uh, but this particular one, they don't have the address available yet, but that'll be a Thursday sale. And that'll probably be, if I have time, second or third sale on my list. It will not be a top priority. Um, where else do I look for sales? Okay, so yard sale treasure map is another one where I like to just roam around. Um, they used to pull from Craigslist. Um, if you put your sales on Craigslist, it used to automatically go over to Yard Sale Treasure Map. I don't know who got so-and-so angry. They don't do that anymore. So somebody made somebody mad, and they don't have that relationship, which, sad face. Um, now we just got to do double work. Look on Treasure Map and look on Craigslist. Um, but if there were any sales on here, I don't even know if I can find them on here or if I have to do it on it. But let's take a look. Yard Sale Treasure Map... Are you even in my community? No. Phoenix. Yeah, those are all Phoenix addresses. No, let's come down. Yep. Tucson. Um, let's see if I can refresh. Is that a thing? All right. Well, 
it's so much easier on the app. But you can just pull up the addresses. Um, next door, that is another one that has a lot of garage sales advertised. Again, I use the app. Everything is on my phone. If you haven't learned that yet, I do this all from my phone for ease and convenience. And somebody had an alien. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's good. There's always the weirdest stuff on here. All right. Let's go to listings. And then I thought they had a category of garage sales. Yes. Oh man, I don't know if your estate sale or your um, next door is just as bad, but ours is pretty funny. Okay, so these are, a lot of these are older. Uh, February 8th, what's today? No, the 20th. So six days ago, this one was advertised, um, but good chance that was last week. That one ended back. Uh, four days ago, four days ago, cul-de-sac sale. That was 22nd. Okay, this will be an upcoming sale. Uh, let's go ahead and find the address. Continental Vistas, cul-de-sac sale. That's a wonderful sign, but I need the address. <laughs> oh my goodness, people. Go through the effort of posting an ad and then you don't even, I don't even know if this will show up in Google. Let's see. Continental Vistas. Do you know what you are? Okay. Here, I'll just save and then um, hopefully the day of they'll have better signs out. All right. Where did I just put that? Saved. Yeah, in garage sales. Okay. Nope, don't remove. Save. Garage sales. Okay. Go back. Go back. Focus. You can do this. Thank you. Did you not see it? Or was this the Continental Vista? What was this one? No, that's the United Methodist. Why didn't you save it? Oh, you did. Up here. Okay. I feel like I'm missing stuff. Oh. Okay. I think this is better. Here. No, close that. That's okay. That's why I was doing a searchy thing. Okay, so we've got Continental Vistas. I'm going to add a note here. We've got um, community, question mark, and what day of the week was this? This was Thursday. And save. Okay, so now we've got those notes. Uh, I don't remember what this one was. Paseo Cerro. Where did I find that one? I think my notes are not working as well. Because, again, I'm used to doing this on my phone. All right. So we've got Yard Sale Treasure Map. We did Next Door. Um, all right. So now that I've saved all of these into Google, I will be able to pull up this whole garage sales tab. And on my phone, which is where I normally do this, you'll be able to view it as an actual map. So take this and picture it handheld on your phone. I will then be able to know where my starting point is, if I'm going to be working from the north to the south or the south to the north, um, which side of the highway, and map out my morning. Um, so this Abrego one, I don't know why I can't see the notes. Um, I think they're a repeat seller. Mm -hmm. Google, the beautiful thing with Google is it actually tells you last time you saw this, you went to this house. Um, so it said that I visited them, uh, I think it was June of 23. So six months ago, I was already at their house. So chances of them having new stuff, rare. They're probably just getting rid of the stuff that they didn't sell the first time. Um, but I'll be able to see, okay, this is that, that possible community sale. This was another sale. We wanted to start at the church. I swear it's so much easier on my phone. Um, but I'll be able to map it out. That's kind of the gist of this. So I know if I'm starting on this side, I'm gonna be able to go here, I'll go here, I'll go here, here. Then I'll cross over probably down here. Then I'll come up and hit this one and then this one, depending on the day. So you kind of get an idea. I put everything into Google Maps. I know some people like to write them all out, but I like Google Maps. I also like that I'm able to put in these notes. I'm able to see that this is GHG at 7 a.m. This one is the multifamily sale uh, and how I want to plan my route for the weekend. Um, 
yeah, so that's how I search for estate sales and yard sales and garage sales in my area. I completely understand that I am very spoiled, blessed for where I live because I get so many sales in the middle of February where the rest of the country is shut down because it's too cold for sales. We were 87 degrees today. Like I'm literally sweating. It was so warm today. Um, so I love it and I absolutely love what I do. So if you like reselling content, you want to be a reseller, you are a reseller, you like watching reseller videos, that's why you've been with me for this long, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I definitely appreciate it. It lets you know when I have new videos out. And down in the description, I have a free gift, if you haven't downloaded it yet, is a BOLO list. It's a list of items to be on the lookout for when you're starting out in your reselling business. It's top brands, top items that you want to search for at these sales. I hope you learned something. I hope you had fun. Uh, I normally don't do these kind of educational style videos, but I get asked this a lot and I wanted to make sure to share that with my community. So a lot of this may not apply to your area. If you don't have a newspaper, maybe you don't have uh, just this type of advertising. I don't know, but most places have Craigslist. Most places have a next door app. Um, Yard sale treasure map. I mean, really, I mean, you can even go onto Facebook and look into Marketplace, but a lot of times that gets a little messy because it doesn't get rid of the old ads if you don't delete them. So things can get kind of messy. I'd rather stick with the stuff that puts a date with it. All right, my friends, enough babbling. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Mm -hmm.